One of the ancient Greeks most important and lasting creations was the stories they told about their gods and the holy places where they lived. According to Greek mythology, Zeus, king of the gods, released two eagles, one from the east edge of the world and one from the west. Where the eagles met was the center of the earth. The eagles met at Delphi, on the slopes of Mount Parnassus, in central Greece. Zeus's son Apollo wanted his sanctuary to be at Delphi. To do this, Apollo first had to slay Python, an evil serpent that lived in the caves of Mount Parnassus. Apollo's sanctuary at Delphi housed an oracle. An oracle is a place where God spoke to ancient Greeks and gave them advice. The gods usually spoke through a priest, who was also called an oracle. Apollo's oracle at Delphi was a woman known as the Pythia, in honor of the gods' victory over the serpent Python. In ancient Greece, the place to go for advice from Apollo was Delphi. Before the Greeks did anything important, they consulted his oracle. They asked questions about everything from planting crops to choosing a husband or wife. Many pilgrims, people who journeyed to a holy place, came to Delphi. Visitors first went to the sacred spring there to take purifying baths. Then they climbed the sacred way, a winding path up the side of Mount Parnassus. At the top was the Temple of Apollo. After paying the priest of the sanctuary a set fee, someone seeking advice sacrificed an animal, usually a goat. Then the priest submitted the visitor's question to the Pythia, who sat in the temple's inner shrine on a three-legged stool called a tripod. The tripod was placed over a crack in the ground through which came vapors from deep within the earth. These vapors sent the Pythia into a trance that enabled her to receive Apollo's word. In her trance state, the Pythia began to speak mysterious words. Other priests standing nearby translated her mutterings into lines of poetry for the pilgrim. What was in those vapors? In the 1990s, scientists discovered two faults, or cracks, in the rock beneath the sanctuary at Delphi. They also found ethylene gas in spring water near the sanctuary. They think that this gas may have seeped through the faults under the shrine and drugged Apollo's oracle. This may be why the Pythia muttered her strange words. The advice from the oracle was not always clear, however. Often the statements were like riddles, and pilgrims had to guess what Apollo meant. One famous example of the oracle's vague advice is told in the story of King Croesus of the country of Lydia. He asked the oracle whether he should go to war against the armies of Persia. The oracle replied that if he did so, he would destroy a great kingdom. Delighted with the answer, Croesus went to war and was beaten. He had failed to realize that the oracle's answer might mean that his kingdom was the one that would be destroyed. The oracle at Delphi remained popular for centuries. With the rise of Christianity, however, people began to abandon the sanctuary at Delphi. In the year 390 AD, the Roman Emperor Theodosius, himself a Christian, ordered the Temple of Apollo at Delphi officially closed. Why it matters today? Throughout history, people have held many places to be sacred or holy. These may be natural sites, such as caves and springs, that are linked to the people's beliefs. Or they may be towns or cities that are the locations of important religious shrines. From ancient times to the present, pilgrims have visited these places to worship, be blessed or cured, or seek help in times of trouble.